Okay, so we're about a week and a half away from the 4th of July, and my lawn is probably looking the best it's ever looked. It's nice and green. We got a nice cut on it last night. Look at this beautiful color. Look at how beautiful it is. Really nice. It feels good. It's nice on your feet. We've had a lot of progress over the past year and a half. Seriously, it's looking unbelievable. But the main problem is that. See that? This is this is clover. But for those of you guys who are wondering what massive clover takeover looks like, that right there is what it looks like. What's up guys? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. In today's video we're going to talk all about fungus in the lawn. I'm going to give you a couple examples of major funguses throughout the Midwest here and then I'm going to show you a couple strategies that you can use to help prevent or stop it. Before we get into the questions, because I know a lot of you guys have a couple questions you need to ask me to clarify a few things, the first thing we need to know is what is a fungus in terms of the lawn? Well a fungus is a disease that results from improper mowing, drought, compacted soil, humidity, etc, etc, etc. Now that we know what a fungus is, let's get into the questions. So the first question a lot of you guys are going to ask me, in fact this is actually a two-part question, is how do I treat for fungus and when do I do it? There are two strategies you can use. Number one is a preventative. As I've talked about before, it's going to prevent the fungus before it presents itself a problem. And our next option would be to use what is called a curative. And as I've mentioned before as well, a curative will stop the damage its tracks but it won't abolish the damage that has already been done. When do I typically want to treat for fungus? I don't have a specific answer for you but the best timing would be late spring early summer. Why is that? Because that's when we're going to be getting a lot of rain. That's also when the temperatures are going to pick up like crazy. Thus brings a lot of humidity which is a perfect recipe for a lawn to develop fungus. Now on to the actual fungi that shows up in the lawn. These two are very common throughout the Midwest. The first one is dollar spot. Now what dollar spot is, is it's a disease that usually results from the lawn's lack of water and adequate nitrogen and it kind of shows up in clusters like you see here. Notice the brown spots throughout the lawn all clustered out? Yeah, that's dollar spot. And to get a little bit closer you can see the lesions on the blades and the margins around them have a little bit of a red brown color. And then the second fungus we're going to look at is going to be brown patch. Now brown patch has a little bit different of a spread pattern. It usually starts out as a little brown spot in the middle of your lawn and it usually results from all the heat and humidity and it can be spread culturally through your mower, through mulch mowing it into areas that don't have it and then before you know it it'll move from one spot literally weeks down the road it'll go from one little patch in your lawn to just a giant patch that takes over a majority of your lawn and believe me you will see it. If you have dollar spot in your lawn it's not really something you need to be concerned about. In fact if you want if you're watching this video right now and you're noticing dollar spot in your lawn you don't have to do anything about it. You could just let it go through its normal cycle and then once we return to fall the temperatures come down we're getting more rain the dollar spot will eventually wear off. Is it going to be ugly for now? Yes. And for those of you guys who want to actually do something about it what I recommend you do now is get down a fungicide. Anything with the active ingredient and propiconazole would be a great choice. In fact, I will leave a link in the description below to a couple good quality fungicides that you can use on this problem. If you're seeing the problem right now in certain areas of your lawn, just go through your lawn and spot spray those problem areas. Another thing you can do for dollar spot, and this is more of a cultural way to control it, is just to put down a nitrogen blended fertilizer. As I mentioned before, melorganite and ringer are great choices. If you have a party like a week down the road, ringer is going to be a better choice because ringer will give you faster results results due to the higher amounts of nitrogen. So if you put down ringer five days before your summer party, I promise you'll be dominating. I wouldn't recommend this strategy if brown patch is your problem because all you're going to do is make your lawn healthy and green just so it can get destroyed with more brown patch. That's a waste of product and a waste of money, so don't do it. What I recommend you do if brown patch is your problem is again, get down a fungicide application. Just spot spray any areas that you see it popping up in. Now as I've said before, it's not going to to abolish the damage completely but it will stop it from getting any worse. It links in the description below to good fungicides that you can use. While you're keeping the brown patch under control, one thing I recommend you do to slow it down at least is to literally take your blower or your mower 
and dry the lawn off in the morning. The key is to get some airflow to the ground to at least dry it off and get some air down to the soil to prevent the fungus from taking hold. So it's present day, I'm finishing up the edit, and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon here. And one thing I wanted to show you before I sign off here is this color, seriously. I put down weed control two days ago. That's when I shot that, and this is present day. Already we're starting to see some wilting. So, yeah, this lawn's looking really good. It's nice and green so far. So from this point forward, if the rain keeps up, we'll be fine. If not, we'll be irrigating half inch three times a week. And along with that, I'm going to be doing another application with the next products coming up um, in the next video here, actually, that's going to show you how to really take the color to the next level. So stay tuned for that coming up. But seriously, before I go, let's at least indulge this a little bit. Let's indulge this moment. Look at how beautiful that is.